Hello everyone, I'm Dragon Weapon. Welcome back to Minecraft Age of Engineering. When we last left off, we were doing our best to get the little bits and bobs and pieces that we needed for the creative power cell. We finally did get the advanced voltaic cell up and running. And I think we we got to the part where we made a solar panel mark five. Now we just need to make that into solar panel mark six so that way we can start making our creative capacitor we also need to teach it how to make the miniature sun which we learned that uh oh well we learned that it was uh multipliable so we put it down in our our multi uh, atomic multiplier and we got a bunch of mini suns now so all we really have to do is now just set up a, a little recipe thing here for the Mark Six, we need uh, photovoltaic cells four, which requires the three, which requires the two, which requires the one. So, do we have Mark Four? Yeah, we have the ability to craft them. We already did that. So, yeah, let's make three of those. If the system will allow me to, come on. We've got everything. There we go. There we go. So let's just put this in here. We've got our refined glowstone. We taught the system how to do that. We've taught it how to make solar panel Mark 5s. And the Mark 4s are the ones that actually can be multiplied. So we have a bunch of Mark 4s. So we just need to... Uh, let's go ahead and just make a bunch of these Mark 5s. Just a pin. Uh, we should have all the pieces needed. Um... Is it actually going to craft every single bit of it? No, 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 no. We've got... No, we got that to craft. Uh, we've got some of the Mark IVs in store. Why is it crafting everything? That is really, really weird. What does it, what does it need to make a uh, solar panel Mark V? We just need this. We need the Voltaic Mark Threes, the Scenarium Alloys. Well, we have the Mark IVs. Why is it... That's really, really weird. Yeah, it's crafting the Mark Fives, which we knew that. I don't see the Mark Fours in here. Unless I'm completely blind. No, no, there we go. Available 40. Yeah, okay. So, it's not going to take nearly as long, but it is going to take a long time. It is going to take a long time. So, now that we've got those photovoltaics up here, we should be able to say, hey, teach you how to do that. Awesome. Now let's put it down here in this line. Whoop. Why'd you scroll back up? Who knows? We'll put that in that line. There we go. So now that we can make the Mark Sixes, let's see if we can actually get one. There's all, that's all we need to start off with is one. So we're needing more flawless glass. So flawless glass. Uh, how does one make flawless glass? Which is a flawless calculator with flawless diamonds and stain or just glass, it looks like. So let's get a flawless calculator. I have one right there. Let's grab some end diamonds. Or actually, it's flawless diamonds, isn't it? Yeah, let's grab, a, let's grab two stacks of diamonds. Like that, and then let's grab two things of glass. Uh, just regular old glass will do. Thank you very much. I don't think it has to be stained, but bloop 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 bloop. There we go. Flawless glass made a lot. Let's make some more. So flawless diamond. Let's grab two of them again, and let's get some more glass. It's not that bad. I don't mind. I mean, I know everything in this pack doesn't have to be automatable, but I mean, it's it's just nice to have it automatable. But at the same time, like having things where you have to craft some of it by hand, actually a nice touch because it's like you press a button and you win. Whereas this one, you actually have to do stuff, which is kind of nice. It's kind of nice. Uh, I actually have a flawless calculator in here, so I technically put this one back in our system. So now that we've got some flawless glass, solar panels. 
Do we have the stuff now? Yeah. And make sure that's the right one, because I don't want to click on the right Yeah, Mark 6. We just need one. Just need one. How long is that going to take? It's going to take, it looks like a while. Yeah, it looks like it's going to take a while. But at least we have a lot of the stuff that we need already. Like, the steps that it would have had to take if we had to, to make the tier 4s. Yeah, that, that would have been all kinds of messed up. So, let's look at our creative again. Creative capacitor banks. So, we've got this. Actually, let's go downstairs. I have it all set up down here. In this chest. So, we've got our solar panel tier 1. We've, we're making the solar panel tier uh, panel 5, or panel 6, actually. We've got our photovoltaic cell. We need two flux capacitors that are completely empty. Uh, so let me just make some of them. Uh, let's make two. And trust me, when I say... I, I've learned, I've read the forums and I have did all that kind of stuff. It, it, it's really messed up. If you try to use one that's full, like the flux capacitor that's full, it won't really work. Plus, I wouldn't want to use these anyway because we've uh, we've upgraded them quite a bit. And that's, that's a lot of waste. But so... We do have those in there. So now only thing we need. Let's just go creative. Now all we need is... Uh, okay, we've got that. We're making that. We have that. We got that, that, that. We just need the elite sol pa solar panel. So how do you make this? So let's go back upstairs. To make the elite solar panel i don't know if i already did or not elite no i don't have the elite solar panel so elite solar panel awesome from neotech so we need four advanced solar panels which take four basic solar panels a double layered capacitor some energetic alloys so basic solar panels is just a basic rf battery gr like that should be really easy Keyword being should, but uh, basic RF battery. Do we not know how to make that uh, battery? We, yes, we know how to make the basic batteries. How about that? Uh, we'll probably have to teach it the elite battery, but that's not a big deal. We already know the basics, and I think advanced takes the basic, and then the elite takes... The advanced. Yeah, we can, we can actually teach this right now. Let's, let's... Uh, give me an advanced battery. Oh, right. Uh, I'm having issues where it's not, it's not loading in. Uh, home base, please. How are you doing here, sir? Alright, that should, that should have worked. For some reason here lately, it's just Minecraft updated and everything just went all kinds of crazy. So, okay. So, Elite. Boom, boom, boom. Basic battery. We should have that now. No. Battery, what is taking you so long? Um, yeah. That's the solar panel stuff. That's making iron. You're making... Oh, we have a lot of uses of iron. Okay, so I can help this along. I can actually help this along. So give me some iron ore. Oh, wow, we've got a lot. And let's head up to our draconic crafting area. Let's put this... Is it the infusion that I'm doing it in? No, I don't think so. Yeah, here we go. Let's just throw that in there, get that all cooking up. And then we'll grab some of that dust. Iron. Iron dust. Well, I should have should have completed the recipe then, right? Yeah, okay, so we should have RF batteries now. Yay, there we go. Okay, back upstairs. It just... I guess it's just needed a little bit more. Wait, what is this? Ah, okay, this is the viewport that I made. Uh, back to entrance. Okay. 
So now we should be able to make the elite solar panels. Just a little hiccup there, but nothing too much we couldn't handle. So to make a basic, there we go. We'll make that. And then we need the advanced, which takes an RF battery. Uh, RF battery and energetic alloy. So energetic. That is awakened draconium. There we go. Just make a bunch, please. I always seem like I need that kind of stuff. And I thought I had it set up to autocraft, but I think the whole situation is when you set stuff like the autocraft and stuff, I don't have it looped back into the system. Yeah, I don't have it looped back into the system. So maybe if I looped it in back into the system, if that would work. I don't know. That, I think that might actually cause it to do an infinite, infinite crafting type thing. Let me check. Infinite crafting. Uh, check the crafting things. Making that. Yeah, see, it's making iron plates. <sighs> hmm. Is there any way to change that? I'm not sure. Let's let's just break that. That's really weird. A lot. Of, I've, I looked up a guide for this. Uh, it's saying that you know there's easy ways to do this, but I don't know. I mean, it should. Where did that go, by the way? It should have went just right back. That's. That's really weird. Those plates just disappeared. What? What? Oh my goodness, what happened? I don't I don't know. That was weird. That was really really weird. I know how I could do it. I know how I can do it. And this would be this would be quite quite easy actually. Uh setting up an automated system. You could do let's see, where do we have this? We'll set this here. <coughs> Excuse me. We'll grab a storage bus. Uh, storage bus. Yeah, grab one of these. Yes. And then we'll grab a chest. Actually, I probably need three chests. So make three chests. And I probably need three storage buses as well. But what I could do is find a empty. How many lines do you have on here? Seventeen. I'll use. I'll use this. One. No, actually, I could just use this one because this one's on a line all itself, so that there won't be any uh, anything. I break that. There we go. So what we could do? Oh, that. Yeah, that wouldn't work. That breaks the illusion. Breaks the illusion. No, I don't want to break the illusion. All right, so what we could do is do chest, chest, it, oh, uh, I forgot. I, well, I guess I could do this. Chest, chest, chest. Is there different ways of getting a chest? Uh, glacial chest, royal chest, nether chest, skystone chest, reinforced. I mean, I could do a reinforced chest, but that would hold so much. Uh, do we have tiny chests? Tiny. I know we've got tiny TNT. No, there's no tiny ch chest. Ah. Hmm. Mystic chest. Just just gold, some lapis, and a chest. Uh, yeah, those look pretty. So let's let's grab these chests. I know this is like a little side project, but I want to make sure that everything runs properly. And we'll make some pretty mystic blue chests. Alright, so chest. And these little mystic blue ones. Yeah. We need blocks of lapis. Wait, what? It should have populated. No. 
That's blue wool. Oh, okay. So get us some wool. Grab us some wool. Like so. And grab some lapis. See, I thought we needed lapis, but I don't know. One, two, three, four. We need some more wool. Make a hundred wool. We've got the string, so. There we go. We've got ten, and I'll need twelve. Let's just make it. Oh, there we go. Mystic. Uh, mystic chest. They stack. All right. Now the question is, though, do they? Ah, uh, they do. They do. Um. They break a lot faster, though. Whoa, what I guess I could do is do it like this. It, eh, it works, I guess. And then what I'll do is I'll set this, this, and this. Get some filters. Craft. Just craft ten of them. Because there's, there's not really much going into here, so... Let's turn this extract off. Yeah. That redstone never active. And then what I'll do is on the back sides here, I'll have... I need two more storage buses. Import bus, export bus, storage bus. Give me two more, please. Thanks, Jids. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, so we'll do this and this. And then this one will be insert... Plates. Yeah. Just want to be insert plates. Let's just grab a hat all the all the stuff that's in here. Now you're probably thinking that's a little bit of overkill, but with as much as we're using it, I mean I don't think I don't think it'd be much of an overkill. So this would be plates. This would be insert. Uh whoop. I guess if I put the filter in there, insert that energetic. And then this one will be insert vibrant. Like so. I need to take this from extract insert. There we go. So now if I turn this on, each of these should, uh, let's grab some speed upgrades. Yeah, grab some speed upgrades for this. Put all of this stuff away. Yeah, so we should have plates in here. Chest, uh, energetics in here. Vibrance in here. So now I can hook all this up. Uh, not with dense cable, though. There we go, smart cable. I'll hook all this up. So that way, all of it will be stored in these chests. That's a smart idea. And then that way, uh, whoops, I uh, didn't mean to do that. Anytime we need something, like, auto-crafted, we can just continue upwards with the, the long spiral. And if I need to come out and come over here and go up. I mean, I've got room. I mean, and I could probably put it, put something on this wall over here. But I like these little mystic chests. These are awesome. So, yeah. So now if we look in our system... Energetics. Yeah, we've got 110, 111. It's constantly crafting for us, so that way we don't actually need it. Alright, back to the task at hand, though. Back to the task at hand. Uh, let's see, where is our entrance? There it is. So now that we've got the, the advanced battery, let's teach it how to make an elite battery. Yes, teach it how to make this. And then we've got the basic solar panel. So to get the basic solar panel, we need, or I guess I need to put the basics in here so that way we can have access to it. Put these right there. All right. So elite. I know we're going to need an elite, ba oops. Uh, I know we're going to need an elite battery. Uh, okay, I was about to say, I didn't, I thought I just made that, but I did, but I didn't put it in here. 
Yeah, here we go. Put it right there. So let's make us make ourselves an elite battery. And then let's look up uh solar. Now we're gonna we have a lot of solar stuff in here, so I gotta make sure I click on the right one. Because we got okay, we got a basic solar panel. So in order to do that, now we need the advanced solar panels. Which requires a RF battery. Did I did I not make any of that? Nope. Okay. So let's make an RF battery. There's the advanced right on top. Look at that. It's kind of like it knew that we needed it. It's like, here it is. Here it is, sir. All right. There we go. That should make the advanced. Actually, I don't like the way that is. Let's put that, yeah, put that there. So now we should be able to say solar and make ourselves one of the basic or the advanced ones. So that way we can turn that into the, the auto crafting thing for the elite one. Yes. So now we need to teach it how to make stabilized ender pearls. So ender pearl we not know how to make stabilized? We do. I need two, please. Now that was quick. So, boop, boop. And then there's our elite. Now, the question remains for this. Can the elites be... Um, can the elite solar panels be duplicated? And I think the question remains, we're going to find out very, very soon. And this is still making, which is, it's the conductive iron. That is just, okay. So that's one of the things that I'm going to keep. All right, so let's make another mystic chest. This, uh, conductive iron is one of those things that we're just going to have to keep more of. So blue wool. Make some blue wool. There we go. Make another mystic chest. I probably just need to teach it how to make them. Because if I'm going to continue using them a lot. For this kind of setup. But I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Alright. So. Boink. There we go. So. Conductive iron. I just need to grab one. Are you are you done by the way? No, you're still crafting. Uh let's see if I can grab him out of the machine. Yeah, I just need one. That's all I need is just the one. So what I'll do is just put the conducting uh, conductive crafting in there or iron in there and then are you done? Oh, it's going to be a, a processial loop. Uh, so what if I set the priority of this to 1? And set your priority to negative 1. Um, yeah, no. Uh, that's not going to work. Uh... That shouldn't even put in there. It should only just allow plates to go in there. That is really, really weird. Uh, I need an import bus. Uh, import bus. Break that. Um, the accelerator cards, got eight of them. Whew. There we go. So now that that is done, how can I do this? Maybe... Maybe because it's still using iron plates? 
Is that a possibility? Is that a possibility? Any of you making or needing iron plates? Um. It's really, really weird. I mean, it's putting it in there, so... Storage. There we go. And once that is full, it should stop. Okay, for some reason now it's working, right? Oh, it's because the channel's not even open yet. Can we put... I wonder if we could put a crafting card in here. Do it this way. Um, partition the storage. And then what I'll stop, what I'll do is I'll c cut that out. Grab a crafting card. If I grab that crafting card and put this in here. Oh, it doesn't even accept a crafting card. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I don't know why it's doing that. That's really sad. That's really, really sad. There should be a way to do this. I honestly think there should be a way to actually set up stuff like that. I don't know. Anyway, what I'll do now is... Uh, I'll go ahead and set this up. I don't know if it's going to be that way for everything. So, filter, grab one. This would be insert. Um, conductive iron. Probably already put all this stuff in it. No? Okay. And then, then I'll just put conductive iron in there. It's probably going to immediately drink it. Because we're using it oh yeah that's right because i don't have any of the uh the stuff on it okay so where's my food there's my food yum 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 and then what we'll grab is another storage bus i'm glad those things are so easy to make all right so put a storage bus on it with a cable whoops Wow, I'm using the big one. I'm supposed to do the big one. There we go. This is really weird. This is absolutely just super, super weird. It's just taking it from it. I don't know if that's, that's giving TPS lag, but, eh. You know, it, I guess it happens. And you should move faster. I might have to set up a different thing for this. If you have a better better way of doing this kind of stuff, please, by all means, let me know. I'm just... I'd like to set it up to where all of this can be auto-crafted. It was working there for a little while. But it seems like it's in a perpetual loop. I don't know how to stop the perpetual loop. Anyway... Anyway, we should have our elite battery now. Uh, there's the entrance. Uh, we should have our elite solar panel, I should say. Yes, elite solar panel, you're done. And let's go downstairs and see if this thing can be popped into here. Oh, it can! Oh, okay. I mean, this, to be honest, though, these things are not really that hard to make, so... I might leave it in there for a little while, but, I mean, like, the, these things are seriously not the hardest thing in the world to make. They, it's just super, super cheap. So, yeah, but at least you know now, you have viewers at home who know that can actually be done. So, now, is our other solar panel done? 
Solar panel mark six. No, you're still crafting. You're still making conductive iron. Hmm, let's go help that out. Let's grab uh, iron ingots. Oh, wow. Make some, please. Actually, crap. Just crap 3,000. We're gonna need it. Alright, grab a stack. Grab some redstone. Because it just seems like just the one is crafting it. This this should be... Oh, the fuse quartz is in the way. Ah! I don't remember it even get in there. But uh, this is on furnace mode. No, that's an alloys mode. Okay, so we'll throw that in there. Grab some more iron ingots. And grab some more redstone. That way we can have it crafting twice as fast. There's still space in here? There is still space in here. So maybe I should grab a, um, let's go make another thing for it. Because it just seems like the conductive iron just takes forever. So, red st uh, yeah, redstone. Grab one. Iron ingot. Grab one. Turn that there, so this and this. Conductive. Oh, grab it. There we go. Makes it conductive. Yeah. Awesome. And we'll just throw that in this extra one up here. So hopefully it will kind of help it. I don't know if it actually works. But, you know, we can try it. It doesn't, know, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. But, yeah. Let's check this up here. Oops. Well, I went too far. Yeah, let's check this now. Is this still... Yeah, it's still... Still going all kinds of crazy. Take that away. That one's doing it too. That's... I don't know. That's really messed up. I don't know how to do this. That That's just really weird. I don't know how to keep it from regurgitating back into the system. I'll figure it out eventually. I'll figure it out. So let's just do that. I mean, I guess it's uh, probably an uh, something on here. Uh, input, output, extract only. Would that fix it? Uh, well, I didn't do it on this one. A extract only. Hmm. Do not push items if inventory contains items. Yeah, that does nothing. Um, wait. Is there a possibility that this? Let me grab just a normal chest now. There's a possibility that this works? No, it doesn't. It won't put it in there. And it just it's just a buffer in between. Um I mean, I could set this up to extract. But it, it really even if I put something like this and then I blocked it off there and then said extract and then this to insert. Still, the same same thing happens, I think, right? Yeah, basically the same thing happens. Wait, what? 
Are you filling up? The iron plates just magically disappeared. <coughs> and this one has all different kinds of other stuff it's not supposed to. Um. Hey, get out of there. Put these away. I need a piece of conductive iron. Yep, thank you. Get out of there. Uh, why are you doing that, sir? Priority is nothing. Extract only. There we go. There's nothing in there. Grab. Oh, no, conductive iron. Is it just slipping through this field so fast? Yeah, I have to go up to the machine and actually get some. This is, that is really, really weird. Like I said before, though, if there's any way that you guys out there know of how to make that happen, where you can set up some type of, like, auto-crafting system to keep a certain amount in the thing. I know you have the little nodes that you can use, but, like, that just doesn't make sense to me. That this should work. Should. Being the key word, but it should. Uh, insert only. Um, bi-directional. There we go. Now I should be able to set up the extract only. I don't know if extract, I mean, no, 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 no. I want them to store it here as well. Bidirectional. Set this one to bidirectional. Bidirectional. Well, oh, actually, bidirectional. Directional. So, does this even need to? Be? I'm confused. I'm so so confused. I don't even think this chest is necessary. It's just, it, it just limits the factor of things. Now I'm gonna cry if that's the way it's supposed to be. Or like, that's the only way it actually will work. That's, that's gonna be really, really insane how that works. Um. I don't know. My mind is just completely bonged. How how that worked, but the this way doesn't. Yeah, that's really, really weird. That's just absolutely bonkers. I don't know. That chest being there actually did something. All right, back to what we're doing. Oh, I get, keep getting sidetracked. Ah, okay. So back. Uh, we should now, in theory, uh, go down. Just, I'm getting all confused. We now should, in theory, have every single bits and bob that we need once this uh, solar panel Mark Five or Mark Six gets done. Yes, the Mark Six is done. Uh, just to make sure. Yeah, Mark Six doesn't won't even go in there. So we now have every single piece that we need. Oh, this is the day. This is the day. All right. So let's go upstairs. Put this all in the system. Uh, along with that. Along with that. That. This. 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 All right. Creative. Ba -na -na -na. Yes! Creative. Now I'm going to put this on a little line way at the bottom on its own so that way we can say creative. 
Please, we have the stuff. Make me one. Yes, we have it. Now, what we'll do is we'll drop it. I don't think this is an item, but no! We do now have a creative capacitor bank. Oh, that's so awesome. Now, what does this do? Uh, we can go infinite quantum energy or for the quantum generator. Uh, the quantum generator can turn into the creative energy cube. The creative energy cube can turn into back into the quantum or the energy or creative capacitor. But this is also the thing that's going into. We need four of them, mind you, four going into what we need for the creative gas tank, which, uh, yeah, I don't know how much of the capacity of all these. I'll have to look this up. Uh, but it also, there's a creative fluid tank. Uh, which one is it? Is I think it's this, is it the Neotech one? Yeah, the Neotech. So we need four capacitor banks. And then we can make, uh, we need an uh, elite fluid tank full of empowered oil. We've been making that since nearly the beginning of this, this uh, series. We need IC2 coolant, which I'll have to make, uh, turn one of our generators into which we'll get all into that we need vapor of levity which we've learned how to make that we just need and usually we turn the vapor of levity into the grains of peciality so we'll just grab that uh, the the liquid off of that we need straight up biodiesel which we never really got into uh that is a uh what is it biodiesel is the is the immersive engineering in, uh, energy type we never really got into biodiesel but we can make it quite easily because we do have a squeezer and all that and then we need short mead which is why we did the bees all those long time ago so like question sir can i queue up for another well is this is this a thing can i queue me queue myself up for another one of these I can actually queue for the entire thing. And it'll go through making the quantum solar panel. Which, by the way, I stole one of the quantum solar panels off the top. And yes, I did try to put it in the atomic uh, multiplier. And unfortunately, no. Uh, it doesn't work. But, since we have the, the creative capacitor, uh, all it is is just time. As long as we have all the resources, all it really is is just time. Just sitting here, letting the game go. But that's... All the time I have for today, we finally got ourselves a creative capacitor bank, and I'm going to uh, I'm going to go over here and throw this bad boy. Let's grab some uh, of the the pipe. Was it the energy relay guys? Yeah, give me this, and then let me grab my doodad there. I'm actually going to help this along. Not the saying that we need anything. Oh, server shutting down. No. Hopefully that didn't crash my game. But anyway, when we come back, what I'll do is uh, when I get it loaded back up, what I'll do is I'll just hook our hook my uh, creative capacitor straight up to our energy cube, which I should have done that to begin with. I don't know why that didn't work. But anyway, uh, I was thinking putting it straight onto the thing, but directing it straightly into our actual um uh energy orb so that way we can fill it up that would be awesome so thank you everybody so much for watching if you did enjoy the episode please do remember to give it a big thumbs up if you have any tips tricks or anything that you would like me to uh, do or build in the future please let me know in the comments down below if you have any comments questions or concerns also use that comment section down below thank you again so much for watching until next time see you later